Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I'm back to film a plan with me. Um, a little bit different this time, we're going to do a plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks instead of in my print pression. I might still film that um, towards the end of the week and pop that up if anybody is interested in watching that. But the reason why I wanted to do my Hobonichi plan with me is because I've got this beautiful kit from Blossom Nose Co. Um, I've been playing Animal Crossing recently. Um, I know there's a few people that are familiar with that game because in the planning groups that I'm in there's quite a few... Um, people that I've friend requested and we've been visiting each other's islands which is really cute um, but the reason why I wanted to use this kit is because these little bottles at the bottom um, in Animal Crossing you get some bottles like this that have DIY recipes in and they wash up on the shore um, and I just wanted to use this kit because it's reminded me of Animal Crossing and that is basically what I've been doing during this lockdown when I've had five minutes to myself that has been my me time um, it's been playing Animal Crossing so yeah I thought it'd be really cute to use this kit this week um, and I'm not sure when I'm going to put this video up it might be too late but Blossom Nose Co has just taken part in the um, PBC sale I think and I did place a little order so I will have some bits and pieces to haul soon from them as well which is nice so we're going to open up my Hobonichi can't remember when the last time I showed this on camera was but not much has changed in here um, this is my old faithful. I obviously love her. I've changed up the little picture of my kiddie winks in the front because I got a new one from school. Um, so this was last week. Now you can see that I haven't finished it. It's not up to date. I will go up to date with that today. Um, but I decided that I wasn't going to use a kit for last week. I tried to use as many functionals from Josephine Bow Designs as I could. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I've got the date cover that came on a separate sheet um, in all different colours. I've got a weekend banner. I've got some functional boxes that were from Josephine Bow Designs. And these uh, day dividers you've seen me use before. You can get the day ones or the one over here that I use. And then we've got uh, the checklist. And some more of the boxes and this skinny washi at the top as well it's actually supposed to be day dividers that you put down there and um, but i had two in the same color off the same sheet so i thought i'd give them a go up there and i just really like how it turned out and um, yeah so i'll finish that off this week and i will pop it up onto my instagram you can have a little look at it but yeah i was really happy with that so this is the week we are moving on to the last week of april this year is flying by it's so so quick um Considering that we spent the last month or so in lockdown as well, I think we're on uh, week six of lockdown, I think we are here. Um, yeah. April already, and who would have thought that this was how our year was going to go? Absolutely crazy. Is my pen running out? I think this pen might be running out. I'll have to get a new one. I'm just going to draw the line down the middle. There we go. Right, so we will start with the reason why I wanted to use this kit, this beautiful bottom washi. And I'm not sure if you can see, but they've all got little tabs on that say like cute things. It's believe, smile, dream, hope and love. They're so cute. So we will just put those down. I'm going to have to locate another pen, I think, because that one is uh, running out. Do have a few of them because it's my favourite pen. It's um, a Pilot Friction pen. I think I've spoke about it before in these videos. I love the pen. I hate the packaging. <laughs> I don't want to put it inside of my planners because it's not cute enough. So it hides away inside of my uh, pencil case. Let's do the other one. I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to film some memory planning spreads because um, I think I'm up to the end of February in my memory planner and I use my hope and each to refer back but obviously we weren't in lockdown then so things were a little bit more exciting so um, it might be a bit more interesting for you guys to watch those videos when I actually had some plans. So we'll see about that. Maybe I'll just film all the videos because I've got all the time on my hands at the moment. Maybe that's what I'll do. I didn't pull that down quite straight. I think we're okay now. So we've got that top washi there, which is really cute. The 
think I just um, scrunched up the page a little bit. That's why it's sticking up. But it will flatten when I close the Hobonichi. So we'll put the second one down. So obviously I've not got too much exciting stuff going on um, this week because we're not allowed to go out. We'll probably go for a couple of dog walks. Um, and I think I might do what I did this week when I did this for the PA, the PE with Joe that filled in quite a bit of space, um, which I quite liked. Right, so we'll put the date covers down. You do get the date covers in this kit. So let me just find my tweezers. So how have you all been keeping yourself busy during this lockdown? We've been spending a lot of time outside in the garden um, playing um, my daughter's been doing some aqua beads which she's recently discovered and she's really proud of her little creations which is super cute she made some unicorns and things and then she's already told me that she wants to get play-doh out today so we're going to do some play-doh um, and then like I said when I get my free time uh, when the kids are busy I've just been playing Animal Crossing and then at night time or at bedtime when the kids have gone to bed um, me and my friend have been watching Netflix together. Obviously, she's in her house and I'm in mine. So we've been choosing something to watch and then just chatting throughout it and um, having a giggle. We've been watching that Too Hot to Handle on Netflix, which is sort of like a little bit Love Islandy. We really enjoyed it. It was so funny. It was just so funny. The rules were that you were not allowed to do anything... Um, how can I say anything naughty like not even kissing and the money would be deducted from the um, the pot so the prize fund was going down I mean people might want to watch it so I'm not going to give any spoilers away but yeah it was a challenge it was a challenge for them and we were just laughing and even just the characters in there were just so funny so yeah we enjoyed watching that so we've done that now um, and then I think we decided that we're going to watch um, X on the Beach with Joey Essex, that one. I think there's a Joey Essex X on the Beach that we're going to watch next. I think you can get that on the um, on the player, you know, on the catch-up player on Sky. So we're going to watch that because I quite like Joey Essex. I think he's quite funny. Um, and then I've also been watching Gangs of London, which is um, the box set is on Sky. I haven't been watching that with my friend. I've been watching that with my other half. We've been watching that when the kids have gone to bed. Um, and that's really good as well, but it's really, really gory and violent. So if that's not your thing, ordinarily that wouldn't be my thing. I like watching crime dramas, um, but not particularly gruesome ones. I don't know. I know that sounds weird. I'm just going to put um, one of these up so I can put a to-do. Am I? What have I got here? Oh, I've got a this week. I'm going to use this week. Yes, because that's a pink banner and I don't want another pink next to it. Yeah, so I enjoy watching like real life crime drama things and you don't tend to get too much proper gore in them. Like you'll get a reenactment, but it won't be um, too gory. But this programme, this Gangs of London is just savage at some points. And I'm like watching through my fingers saying to Chris, tell me when that bit's over. But it's been really, really good. We've really enjoyed it. I never watched it, but Chris said that the main guy in it is from Peaky Blinders. Um, it's not the main guy from Peaky Blinders, it's not Cillian, what's his face, I don't know his last name, it's not him, but the main guy that's in Gangs of London is from Peaky Blinders, so he said um, he was really good in that, so yeah, I'm thinking he's really good in this as well. So we're just putting our checklists down, because um, I do have some bits and pieces to do this week, mainly like trying to use my time to do jobs around the house that sort of get put to the back like I tidied up all of the cupboards in the kitchen the other day um, and I got rid of because I bought a new dining set because there's a bit of a mystery in my house at the moment the bowls keep disappearing and my bowls are disappearing so I bought a new dining set so because I did that I decided that any um, cups or plates or anything that had little chips in them were just going in the bin it was a job that needed doing and I've just not done it we weren't even using them like I don't use anything that's got a chip in it because um, it's obviously not very hygienic but they've just been dumped in the in the cupboard like they were never put in the bin so I did that so that was a productive job that I got done which was nice and um, yeah so that's what I've been using my to-do list for I have been doing productive jobs because I've not much else to do so I'm going to put this decoration box down here 
um, I'm going to just move it up. It will leave a gap, but I'm okay with that because I'm going to put the next box here. So the next box I'm going to put down is going to be um, one that I'm going to watch. I'm going to put what I'm watching on the TV. So I will probably put that Gangs of London in. I love the colours in this kit, it's so cute. All the pastels are obviously my favourite. We all know that now. There we go. Right, so our bin day usually goes on the Monday, but the council have changed the way they're doing it. They're only collecting our bins once every two weeks now, which I get, I understand why, um, but it's a nightmare. I have too much rubbish. Um, yeah, it's a nightmare. My bins are becoming very, very full. And my neighbour, I've got a lovely elderly neighbour who my kids love. She's, um, she's really, really nice. And she said to me, because obviously she's seen that I was struggling, um, oh, if you want to put your rubbish in my bin, like, don't worry about it. Yeah, you, you can totally do that. You don't need to ask. Just pop it in. I don't really want to do that because I feel like it's cheeky. Um, so, yeah, struggling with the bins at the moment. Right, so today is the Monday and I'm filming this video. So that is something that I can pop down. So I'm going to have a look in my paper clay folder because I'm pretty sure I've ripped my folder. I need to make a new one. But I'm pretty sure that I've got some more YouTube videos. I'm sure I just bought some. I'm going to keep those cleaning ones out. I'm going to keep the laundry ones out. Oh, I'll definitely keep the Netflix ones out. <laughs> Here we go. And I've got some on that one as well that I might want to use up first. So let's just pop those back. Right, so I want to mark that I have filmed this video. I'm not going to write the details of what this video is because that will go in my social media planner. I just want to pop this down so that I know that I've done something today. Which one do I want to use? Um, I think I'll use this cute little white guy here with his little, his little white play button. So that can go there and then um, what am I going to put next? I'm going to put one of these full boxes. Let me see what full boxes I've got in here. I do have some Blossom Nose Co sheets. I'm just going to see if we've got any spares uh, to match up. The only difference is these ones have the black line around them, don't they? But I'm not too bothered about that. If I put enough in, then it won't matter. I have a ton of these, and I've actually just reordered a load of them. But you can see um, a pattern of what's getting left behind on all of the sheets. So um, I needed to reorder, which I did. So I'm going to use one of the yellow ones one of the yellow ones off here and i'm going to mark down that i want to start doing the bbc bite size lessons with jensen um just to make sure that he is keeping his brain working we've been doing joe wicks every day we do the pe lessons every day um he gets some homework sent from school he gets um a password sent to his school email and then he logs in and there's three different tasks on it which he does do every weekday but i feel like between that and the Joe Wicks, that takes up two hours of the day-ish. And I just feel like it's not enough. If he was at school, obviously, he would be working from nine until three. And I'm not going to make him do that, obviously, because he's at home. But I just feel like if I add a bite-sized lesson in every day, um, then that can't be a bad thing. Right, so I think, um, aside from the date dots, that might even just be everything that I've got to put down. I do have a PR order coming in from Josephine Bow Designs this week, hopefully. The post has been awful. Um, Joanne posted it maybe a week ago or a week and a half ago, possibly. Um, and the post has just been so slow. And I know it's not missing because I've got stuff from other shops that have just not arrived yet. So it's literally just that. It's just the post being slow. It's very annoying when you want your goodies. I've got some really good stuff coming. And I want it. So, yeah, we'll see if that comes today. I have had some more dispatch from Etsy for some different bits and pieces that are coming. Um, what about these? These are some new date dots that I picked up from Lily Bottom Designs. They're really, really tiny, so they might just nicely fit in the box. 
so we've got 27th and I think I'm going to use the mint green I think I think that's really nice uh, this might be a, bit, a little bit fiddly these are little there we go obviously they're not going to fit straight in the box properly because that's a square box and these are circular but I don't mind So yeah, I'm hoping that um, I've got a few a few more videos to film. I think I've got a haul to film again. Um, and then I think I've got some memory planning videos that I can film. And I can still film in my print impression if you want to see it. So I'm keeping busy. Just going up, counting up from the bottom because I wasn't sure how many days were in um, <laughs> how many days were in April. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to pop off and fill in the bits that I can fill in, and I will be back in a second. So that's the week so far, and that's how it's looking filled out. Obviously, I've not filled out too much. We're on the first day of the week. And like I said, I don't have too much going on, um, but I filled in the bits that I can and I'll keep you updated on Instagram in my stories on the rest of the week. Um, obviously, this was a really short video and I don't even know if it was something that you're interested in watching. Um, I don't have anything interesting to say, really, so it's probably been a bit rambly, but um, yeah, I'm a bit lonely too. So it's kind of nice to just jump on the camera and sort of chat, even though you're not on the other end of it yet. You might reply to me in the comments, as a lot of you do sometimes, and I really, really appreciate that. I love having a chat. But yeah, um, I hope you're all staying safe and that you're all as well as can be. Um, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's really, really hard. Um, anyway, <laughs> can you see I'm rambling now because I've not had any um, adult contact apart from my other half who is working a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stop rambling. Um, but if you did watch this video to the end, thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever. And I'll see you soon. Bye.